Hello. Let's look at one of my favorite uh, Robert Maplethorpe books. It's a Maplethorpe the Nymph Photography by Germano uh, Salant, published by Skira. Um, this book is, is, it really is a lovely book, really good overview, really nice essays, so I just wanted to share it. So let's look at some of the um, photographs in here. Of course, I can't show all of them, but I'll show you what I can. And um, they are some of the most, the nicest ones, I think, in this this book. So this is 1973. This is Patti Smith, and this is the only tattoo she has, a little uh, lightning bolt. And they, I believe, they were they were living together still. Um, just a really cool photo. Simple. Of course, the famous dagger photo with a switchblade. Um, Self-portrait 1983. He sort of has that tunnel snake hair. Very kind of retro 50s um, motif. Two early photos. This one is interesting because it's Andy Warhol, but there's, it's like the, it's been modified. Um, photos from 1941, the 72. Here's Gentleman, 1973. So it was fairly his early work when he was doing um, more sculptural items. one of my favorites of his. I like the smile, um, his arm stretched out, 1975. This one is James Ford, 1979. Here we have the David Morat uh, photo, sort of similar. I like this that glass of water there. The geometry in this. And the pronounced Adam's apple. That would be an odd photo. Female torso, 1978. Andy Warhol, 1983. There's a few of Andy Warhol that he took. I really haven't read if they were considered friends or not, but they did. Um, there was some back and forth uh, collaboration or influence. These are two from Patti Smith in 1978. I don't know what that is. Something sculptural. Some of the blurry one. Very different. Almost demonic. This one's very serene. This is one of the Saturn. Saturn nymph photos. Here's a Van Gloden. Mm. And if you recognize this one, this one it was used for the cover of a Pet Shop Boys album release. And it, they had multiple um, covers, but this was the main one, and it's actually the one on the vinyl reissue. Look at the color. It 
almost looks fake. This poppy. And here this is the pan head and flower. This is from 1988. And that's, uh, look at this year he died. Here's some more flowers. This is from 78, Gardenia. And tulips from 83. This is the photo that's on the cover of the book, Frank Diaz, 1980. This was during the sort of leather bondage phase. Some of his portraits. He actually did quite a few celebrity portraits. Donald Sutherland and Cindy Sherman. Cindy Sherman, amazing photographer. I absolutely love her. photos this is from 82 and 82 so simple yeah, so you see this book has like a, a really good overview there's the Apollo photo that's been used on the slipcase of the big uh, Maplethorpe uh, book this is Skull from 1988. Of course, this is when he's dying of AIDS, so. Skulls became a thing he used quite a bit. Even the cane he carried had a skull on it, and we'll see that at the end. Here's a self-portrait, 1973. 1980, him and drag. And of course, Andy Warhol also did a drag series around the same time. Here he is again. 1980. 1980. So you have feminine and more masculine with the leather jacket, the cigarette. Even the eyes, squinty. So this was used on the cover of the um, the notorious book, the pictures book. Um, this was the cover, and this was like so. This was used both. So look at the way the hands are. Um, same pen, fountain pen. Um, here we have a dress shirt, watch. Here we have a leather cuff, a leather. Fingerless gloves and a cuff bracelet. This was used as a, um, it's called Picture Self Portrait, 1977. It was used as the cover of a, um, a uh, gallery announcement. Here's some more portraits. I'd forgotten about this one. This is Candy Darling from 1972. So again, Andy Warhol, superstar, some influence there. And I have a Warhol Maplethorpe book. Maybe that's the next one I'll, we'll look at. Isabella Rossellini. Look at this one. It looks like, a, from a, it's, like it's from a Caravaggio. It's called Urn with Fruit, 1987. Here's the bust and skull, 1987. So there's skull, pan. The book is Milton. And here is the last photo. There's the skull, the death. This was his, I believe it's his last self-portrait. 
1988. So he's looking kind of gaunt. And uh, that would be it. This book is interesting because there's his eyes again. It has a hologram sticker here. Maple Thorpe the Nymph Photography. And there's a number. So I don't know if this is a numbered edition or not. But it is a beautiful book. I've had this for a while. Anyway, there we go. This is uh, Maplethorpe the Nymph Photography. So thank you for watching.